This is the pool area here at uh, Ningaloo Resort where we are. It is pretty cool. Oh, it's super early this morning. It's only just light outside. And I've got to go and wake the boys up ready for something special. Yeah, it's a big day today. We are waiting at the front of Ningaloo Caravan Holiday Resort. I'm excited. Yeah. We are going to be picked up in a bus. All right, on you get guys. And start our day. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. Weather's good. It's pretty flat waters. Circling around. When he finds one, he's going to give us a tip off. <laughs> wow, that was so close and so clear. That was good, good, awesome. Harry was so excited he swam away, didn't you? He was massive. No, it was only five meters long. Five meters, he's still big. That's what she said. She said it was only baby. Alright, we're going again. So we've seen a one. Yeah. We're going back out. So Jed and Justin are in the water just over there, spotting the whale shark. seen two uh, whale sharks today when we went swimming with whale sharks. One was a five metre, the other was a seven metre whale shark. It was a female the smaller and a male the larger. They were super slow today. Apparently they move quite fast normally and you have to really hammer to keep up but these guys were just cruising around so we had plenty of time to swim with them. The boys all got to see them up close. Oh, heaps of looks. We have got heaps of looks at him, haven't we Al? He, he, he looks cool. Yeah. Really cool experience. The boys have had a ball. We've been well looked after by Kings on the tour. We've had plenty of food, plenty of drink. Um, we did a bit of a snorkel. Uh, to be honest, the snorkeling wasn't as good as what we saw at Five Fingers Reef. That was amazing. Um, so I think that sort of tainted any future snorkeling experiences. But we got to see some trumpet fish, which we haven't seen before. So all in all, awesome tour. I recommend it. And um, now we're going to head back to shore and go see what's next. So the last couple of days in Exmouth have been massive for us. We did the whale shark swim yesterday, which Alex announced as one of the best days of his life. It was pretty surreal being in the water with those massive big creatures. All right, we are off to see the Mildura shipwreck. So here in Exmouth, there's a wreck just off the coast and we're just hopping out. We're gonna go up and see if we can see the shipwreck. 
Oh, oh, look at that. So you can clearly see the wreck at the moment. Cool spot. We have seen a heap of turtles here. They just keep popping up in, in amongst the, um, in between the wreck and here. I reckon it's only maybe 20 meters off the shore. And they are big turtles. They are some big, big turtles. Oh, let's see if we can see one. There's one. There we go. Oh, right yeah. He's just done that. He's a big boy. Oh, yeah, it is. We're just coming into the Cape Range National Park. This place is supposed to be pretty special. There's some cool stuff down here, face center. All about everything you're going to see here. Where does your space Which one, Harry? Cape Range National Park and we plan to spend the next uh, four or five days here camping and enjoying some of the beautiful waters and some of the natural sights. So we're going to spend a day here. It's actually a little bit overcast today. It's a bit disappointing, but it's still 27 degrees. It's quite muggy, a lot of humidity here. And uh, we're going to go for a bit of a paddle and then we're going to try the drift loop. See what Hopefully we can see. You see some good stuff under there. So here at Turquoise Bay, there's um, something quite unique. You can see this V shape coming off the point, and that's actually the point up over here. So you almost see there's a dark line running out, and it actually runs out both sides. That's where the water comes in through the reef and then shoots out, the same as from in the bay as well. So it creates a drift along here, so if you actually walk along this beach, you can go and snorkel and drift down with the, the currents and do all that snorkeling. Or if you come over here, it's much calmer and you can swim and spend the day. So we're going to spend a day down here, we're just on that sign there, and then we're going to do the walk, walk around, do the drift loop and drift down, and you get out here and then come back. We've got a few other travelling families with us, so it should be a pretty fun day. Let's go see if we can find some fish. Look at them. Just cruising along. They know they're in a habitat, in a marine environment. And they know they're protected here. They are just everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, Gone over the road. Just uh, looking at our first dingo. So we haven't actually seen one before. This is the first one we've ever seen. And uh, this is their home here. Hey mate, how are you? You can see they're pretty fit looking animals. It looks friendly too. But... Oh, friendly, yeah. So um, they're all around here in the Cape Range National Park. So you have to be careful. Um, they're not overly aggressive but you don't want to sort of corner them because they can be. They are ultimately some wild animals. Off he goes. Looking for his next meal. Just down here having a bit of a fish in the afternoon. There's a couple of shovel nose rays down here. You just see them, just make them out in the water. Just sun baking. Having a good time hanging out. I'll tell you what, I haven't caught a lot of big fish, but just before I was out here fishing and all of a sudden, bang, my rod went and I thought, and it didn't move again. And then bang, it went again. And I thought, I'm on here. And it was really heavy and I thought it must have got snagged. But then I realized it was just a really heavy fish. Now, I haven't caught a big fish, so I don't really know how to reel it in. I think I went a bit too hard. I was trying to pull it in like straight away, fresh out of the ocean. I should, probably should have let it tire a bit. I was a bit worried about the reefs around. The net result is it was heavy as and ended up snapping my line I think it basically pulled my knot off so I need to go to knot school fishing knot school when I get back to the caravan and get some coverage because um, it was big and I've let it go and my goodness wouldn't that have been an awesome catch for the boys there's not many bites in between I'm using these little fake plastics and actually work done better than the fish and the squid we've used so far today but regardless of the result, it is an awesome spot to spend the afternoon having a fish, just watching that sun go down. 
hopefully soon bring it in dinner. There are just some awesome sunsets in WA. Have a look at that sky. The red, once that goes down, is gonna be unreal. So driving out of the campground, you can see Cape Range ahead. We were just discussing with the boys the meaning of a range. Lots of mountains sort of all joined together in a row like that. Obviously where the name Cape Range comes from for the National Park. So we're going out for a bit of a drive today. We're going to see a bit more of the National Park. We've swam at Turquoise Bay, done the snorkel loop, hung out at the campsite, done a bit of fishing off Currajong. Now we're going to go see maybe a gorge or two and go for a bit of a walk and maybe end up at the beach again. Hey Harry, what do you want to tell people about hats at home? Bring them now, delete this video. Okay, I'll delete the video. Good lesson. Harry forgot his hat, so we have a fly net and piece of paper contraption, which he is super pumped about. Got down here to Yardy Creek, we're gonna go on the Yardy Nature Walk, which is a 1.2 kilometer track. So we go along here as a boat tour, all the way along to here. And then if everything's good, which it should be, because it's only a class one, it's quite easy. Um, we're then gonna kick on into the class four Yardy Gorge Trail. So that's a, an extra two hours. So probably two hours total, I reckon. So an extra, what's that? Hour 20 on top of that. So um, I'm going to go have a look at the gorge. You can see here Yardy Creek comes down and out down here. So this is like down the tip of the range. Go see what we can see. See some birds, Harry. So we're about nine, ten minutes in, and this is the end of that first trail. So it's looking out over this amazing waterway. And it has actually closed off for quite a long time. It takes major rain. So last time it opened up was when there was a big uh, cyclone. A lot of rain was deposited, 200 mils in 24 hours, and it basically washed out the entire rain, uh, the whole water system, cleaning it up so it doesn't get salty like a river can. It is a beautiful spot. Apparently, if we keep on walking, we're going to see some habitats. So we'll see some bird habitats and things like that. It's a little bit rough um, underfoot. Not the worst we've walked on, but all this range used to be underground, under the sea. And as we walk along, we're spotting little fossils in the rocks, which are pretty cool. And now it's all raised, it's quite rocky, so you just need to take your time. And you come up to some pretty cool challenges, like these ones. What have we got ahead of us, Al? Um, I'm putting you in front. You're putting me in front, okay. <laughs> Good thinking. So this is along the track. Look at that. It's just beautiful. It's watching this turtle soon down here. Might come up for air in a sec. You can just make him out there. So he's an inland turtle, not an ocean turtle. There he is. Some of the many fossils we're finding along these rocks, the kids are enjoying spotting them. See here, this is where Yardy Creek goes all the way out to Ningaloo Reef. It's closed off at the moment though. Beautiful looking along this little gorge here, mini gorge. Climb back up, a little bit trickier this part. So a little bit of help for the kids, but all good. I just spotted a little stingray down there cruising around. Just make him out. I yeah, it must it. be um, estuary. I've got the end of the track. Wow. It's pretty cool view. We've reached that the end here awesome. and it is just beautiful. Very still waters. I actually like this better than the Z Bend at Calvary. This is uh, quite beautiful the way Yardy Creek just winds its way around the gorge here. You can see turtles in there. I saw a big eagle flying along. Lots of fish, it's beautiful, so close, and easy access too. Do a little river cruise here, so you can go down the Yardy Creek cruise. It was uh, 90 bucks for two hours, two kids for an hour. We're not gonna do it this time, we're happy doing the walk, but it'd be a pretty cool thing to do. And now we come down to Sandy Bay, which is a really good swimming, fishing, and uh, it says snorkeling, but it doesn't look like there's a lot of snorkeling out there. What a beautiful spot to swim. We've just finished the Yardy Creek walk, so we were really hot 
and five minutes in here and you cool down and then it's just enjoyable after that. You've got this big sandy bay here. Guess they uh, weren't too creative with their names, eh? With all of these little bait fish in it. So fish are just swimming around at your feet. And then not too far out is the beautiful turquoise waters that the boys have been exploring. They found a few cool creatures out there, some puffer fish, crab apparently, big crab that Harry spotted. Harry has absolutely taken to snorkeling. He's out there and being a snorkeling pro, grabbed it as soon as we got here. He just wants to see everything that's under the water. So we've had a great day out to finish off our time on the Coral Coast. The Ningaloo Coast in particular has been amazing. The reef along here. We've seen some animals in there that we could have only dreamed to see. The turtles, the stingrays, the whale sharks, the whale sharks of course. But even just in the beaches that are easily accessible, there's st stacks and stacks to see. So we've enjoyed our time in Exmouth as well, and prior to that, all along the Coral Coast. And I think now we're ready to head off to the next destination. Yeah, something more fun, more adventure. Awesome.